Holly. I'm about to be a guest auctioneer here at uh, WCNY for Telloc, and uh, I'm going to give you a tour and show you the CD underworld of uh, what goes on at Telloc behind the scenes. I'm here with Chuck Melkier, a longtime volunteer at Telloc, and uh, Chuck, can you tell me uh, how long you've been a volunteer for Telloc? This is my ninth year this year. All right, and uh, what are your, some of your duties you've done? I've done the warehouse, I've done specials, and I've done bid runner, and I'm on the phones tonight. I'm going to be a guest auctioneer. Can you uh, give me some advice on what I should do tonight? Well, you can. all you can do is do the best you can, and we'll support, and you can support your friends at WCNY. No, I think you're better th at this than I am. Chuck will be taking my place tonight. <laughs> We're in the warehouse now, and uh, after dealing with that Chuck guy in the hallway, I'm a little scared, but we got Don here with us, and Don, I am uh, terrified to, to be a guest auctioneer. It is no problem, no problem at all to be a guest auctioneer here on WCNY. All you have to do is talk fast, talk loud, bid high, bid often. That's all you have to worry about saying. You think you can handle that, Polly? Yeah, I'm a radio guy, so this is kind of all new to me. And oh, radio schmadio. Listen, the new technology of this world is in television, all right? Get out of that old medium, get into the new one, and you'll be doing fine. I know. I actually had a shower to come here today because uh, I'm usually in my sweats and uh, getting up at 5 in the morning. All right. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that, Polly. Thanks. Okay. Face for radio. I heard the joke in the background. Never heard that one before. <laughs> And thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week, try the veal. Random clapping breaks out for absolutely no reason uh, here at uh, Telloc. All right, I'm here with Chris Exaver. She doesn't know she's gonna be on uh, yet, but if we can get her to stop talking about fish and chips for two minutes. She'd rather not talk to me. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, Polly. How are you? Good. Uh, can you uh, tell us, uh, you got any favorite uh, Telloc stories, any funny uh, behind-the-scenes things? Favorite Telloc stories. Well, when the directors are bored in there, they take pictures of our faces, and then they make hand puppets out of them. That's a pretty good Telloc story, don't you think? That's Have you been made into a hand puppet? No, but I can't wait. Yeah, you could be a hand puppet by the end of tonight. All right, would we, you like to be a hand puppet? I would love to be. All right, I think that's our assignment. Kathy or Amy needs to make you into a hand puppet. <laughs> I've been worse at <laughs> night. All right, we're here with Amy, a three-year veteran at WCNY. <laughs> Amy, I... Uh, Do you even know what my, my position is? No. <laughs> Director of everything? Lord, Producer. Lord of the underworld? <laughs> it's close enough. Darth Vader of uh, WCNY? Dark Lord. <laughs> I know, I got nothing. She's got her Wicked Witch apple in her hand right now. I'm not biting it. Uh, can you give me some advice on being a guest auctioneer because I'm terrified? Uh, my advice would probably be think of the children. Think of the children that you're going to reach tonight and, and how much you're going to support them by being here and supporting public television. Yeah, that's why they have me on at night, you know. I'm not any allowed anywhere near Sesame Street because of my parole. <laughs> because I found out that uh, Big Bird doesn't like to be as tickled as much as Elmo does. All right, we're here with producer Bill from uh, WSYR, The Jim Reese Show, and George Kilpatrick, and uh, you're going to be a guest auctioneer like myself, and I'm terrified. Uh, <laughs> you got any advice for me? Uh, I, I, I take it like this. Just pr pretend everybody's naked. Uh, after seeing this crowd, I don't <laughs> don't want to do that. So you got any, uh, do you write any one-liners or anything for? I, I just come up with the top of my head. He's a natural. And George, you got any advice for me? This is my first uh, endeavor into live TV. Here's my advice to you. What you're talking about, George. Read the copy, and we don't need any performance out of you. Just read the copy. Okay? Read the copy. Read what's on the page, Paulie. You shouldn't have said that. Read the copy, Paulie. Don't give me a show. Don't give me any more. Just read the copy. Okay, if you have, maybe one line, but that's it. One line. All right, I'll, I'll behave myself. Read the copy. 
there's stuff, sometimes there's no notes there. It just go right through the line. Okay. 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 Alrighty, Holly Sevilla is with me and he is from 95X. Thank you. He, you know, this guy has almost as long as I am the same way. I understand. And you're concentrating on what you should Two be. Two things at once for me, not a good thing. Holly Sevilla is <laughs> with a great read. 